hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious chicken and rice casserole as always I'll have the exact measurements in the description box below for you a few weeks ago the Delatier company contacted me and asked if I wanted to try out anything from their cookware line so I went to their website to check it out to make sure it's something I would use and when I saw all the different things that this cookware line can do oh my gosh you guys I was impressed so of course I said yes what makes it different from the rest is that it is designed for performance in the oven in the microwave on the stove top yes you can put this over direct flames and you don't have to worry about it and even on the grill and the best part my favorite part is that it is thermal shock resistant and what that means is that it can withstand sudden changes in temperature either with cooling or heating so you can basically go from your freezer to your oven without any concern at all okay so let's get into the recipe I'm going to put some olive oil in my baking dish and I have this over medium heat to that, I'm adding one pound of chicken thighs that I cut into bite-sized pieces. If you want, you can use chicken breast, it's up to you. Then I'm going to add some chopped onion and garlic. And I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes or so, just until the meat is no longer pink. I know you're thinking, girl, you're crazy. What are you doing cooking in your casserole dish on the stove top? I mean, that's not something you see every day, right? <laughs> but like I said, this is designed to cook on the stove top. So I really like that because I don't have to cook in another pot and then transfer it to my casserole dish. I can just do everything in this one dish. So I really like that. Just as a disclaimer, please don't try this in your regular casserole dish at home unless you have one that specifically say you can do that, otherwise it will shatter on you and you don't want that. In the meanwhile, you can just go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So while the meat is cooking, I'm going to get my other ingredients together. To a big mixing bowl, I'm going to add some salsa and you can use any kind you like, just use your favorite one. I'm going to add some sour cream. One can of cheddar cheese soup. Some chicken stock. And one packet of your favorite taco seasoning. Use a spoon and mix everything together. After everything is mixed together, I'm going to add some long grain white rice that I washed. Do you guys wash your rice? I always feel like I have to wash mine, but I know some people don't. Then I'm going to add one can of black beans that I drained and rinsed. Just mix that really well one more time. Mm -hmm. 
Just so you know, you can omit the chicken and make the rice and beans on its own and it makes a perfect side dish. And if you're someone that have a hard time cooking rice, by doing it in the oven, you'll have perfect rice all the time. Now that my meat is no longer pink, all I have to do now is just add the mixture to it. I know most people don't have a casserole dish that you can go from the stove top to the oven. So what you'll want to do is just cook this on the stove in a pot and then transfer it to your casserole dish and bake it. Just give that a stir and then cover it with aluminum foil. Bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 hour. I know by looking at this it looks like it's heavy, but it's not. It's so light. It's lighter than using cast iron. Let this cool down a bit before you go in there and fluff the rice. And I like to use a spoon when I do that. I so wish you could smell this and taste this because it is so good. I don't think I mentioned this already but this dish is non-stick and it's also scratch resistant and dishwasher safe. But to be honest, I don't even put this in a dishwasher because it cleans up so easy. If you guys are interested in purchasing this casserole dish or anything from the Delatier line, I have a coupon code for you where you can get 20% off your first order. And the coupon code is SHIRANI20. I'm going to leave their link below if you want to check them out. The very last thing to top this dish off is to sprinkle some chopped cilantro on top. I love cilantro. I could put cilantro on anything. I know some people don't like cilantro, so you can skip that part if you don't like it. But if you do, make sure you put it, because it's really good. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.